Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. Next up in our Power Automate series, we're going to walk through how to easily convert single page PDF documents to a single PNG image using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. Once you set up a simple conversion flow like this one, you'll never have to worry about doing this type of conversion again. Let's get started. From the Power Automate homepage, click Create on the left hand side of the page and then select Instant Cloud Flow. Give the flow a name, and then select Manually Trigger a Flow, and finally click Create at the bottom once again to begin designing. When you're ready to get it going, click New Step and type Get File Content into the Operations search bar. Below, you'll need to select the application option that contains the PDF file you want to convert. My PDF is in SharePoint, so I'm selecting that option, and then selecting my site address immediately afterwards. When you're ready to find your file, Click on the file icon and follow the folder path to your file's destination. Once there, select it, and the first step is complete. Now click New Step once again, and this time type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Below, you'll see a list of Cloudmersive connectors with different colored logos. For this operation, we want the document conversion connector with the lime green logo. Once you've selected that, you'll be able to search for a specific document conversion action. However, before you get too far along here, you'll be prompted to input your Cloudmersive API key to enable the connector. If you don't have one, you can easily register for a free account on our website to receive one. Once you enter in that information here, it'll save for your next use like mine has. When you're ready, type PDF to PNG into the action search bar and select the option below that specifies a single PNG image. Now it's time to satisfy the parameters for the operation. Click on the first input file search bar and select the file content option from the dynamic content window. This will pull the contents of the file included in the previous step. Then, for the second input file search bar, copy and paste the file name from the previous step and you're all done with this part. It's time now to include the final operation in the flow, which will specify the new folder path, file name, and file content of the converted file. Type create file into the search bar and select the option that aligns with the application you want the new file to be saved in. Then, click on the folder icon to navigate and select the new folder for the converted file. For the file name portion, give the file whatever name you want, and then end the name with the .png suffix. Lastly, click on the file content search bar and select output content from the dynamic content window to ensure the new file contains contents from the operation. Now you can save and test the flow to make sure it works. Click save at the bottom and then click test in the upper right hand corner of the page. Select the option to manually trigger the flow and then click test at the bottom followed by continue and run flow. If the flow ran smoothly, you'll see green check marks appear on each operation in the flow. Any obvious errors will be logged immediately on the right hand side of the page, but the only way to make sure the flow really worked is to go check the target folder. As you can see here, I now have the new PNG file in my specified folder, easy as can be. It's easy to convert dozens of file types in this way and save these flows as buttons for future file conversions. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Cloudmersive Power Automate Connector tutorials in the near future.